Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Instant Inkscapes lesson. This one is going to be short and sweet, but I think you might find it pretty useful. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, my friends, this is a sweet website where you can actually make a puzzle, set it the size you want, and then what's beautiful is you can export it as an SVG or download it as an SVG. I'm going to just drop it in my downloads folder. And I built a cool one of these, but I found that I could not uh, cut it with the same settings because the outside cut way easier than the curvy parts. So let me show you this sweet Inkscape solution that I found to make it do what I want. Of course, the first step is to click File, Open, and find our file, which remember I stored in my Downloads folder. There is my cool little jigsaw. I didn't name it fancy because this one's just for play. And then I'm going to maximize it so that I can actually see the entire project. So like I said, this outside edge cut better uh, or faster than the curves. So all I need to do is make it into two separate parts. Well, once you bring it in, and you can do this with pretty much any SVG, when you click on it, you can see the points. I'm going to just click on this point right here, and I'm going to press delete to get rid of it. I'm going to move to the other corner and I'm going to press delete to get rid of it. Notice it gives me this curved line. That's not a big deal because once I get rid of all four of them, so there's delete in that corner, and then finally delete in the last corner, you will see that if I go back to this piece and let's make it a color that's going to show cutting uh, to the Glowforge when it gets import. So I'm going to right click and do set stroke you can see there is red all the way around the inside, but there is none on the outside edge. Now I do want to cut that, but I want it to be separate settings. So all I do for this project is return to my rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to get rid of the fill in a moment, but I'm going to just get it close. And then I can right click and set the fill, or left click and set the fill to none. I'm going to keep that outside edge and I'm going to zoom in and stretch it to the exact size I need. Just like that. And then with the zoom tools, we can peek and make sure it's perfect. And I can also set that thickness so they match as well. So I'm going to my stroke style and where it's 0.5 millimeters, I'm going to make it point two millimeters and see if that looks more the same. It's close. I bet you the other one is going to be 0.1. It doesn't terribly matter, but I'm just going to make them so they match. So it's easier when I line it up. I'm going to zoom back out to that one to one. And then I'm going to go over to this side and let's zoom in and take a peek at that. You can see I was off. I can find the little arrows and I can shrink it just the way I want. With that zoom, I could also just slide the bars down and find the middle so I can find that handle and match it up. I think knowing that you can do this, you're going to find all kinds of possible ways that you can put it to use. I know I'm going to use it tons with all of my projects, and uh, it just gives me a way to make my SVG files that sometimes I find online do what I want to make it cut the best. Alrighty friends, so with that all lined up, I'm now going to click it and I'm going to make it another color uh, just so it's easier to tell that they are different. And now I can do File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as Jigsaw Puzzle uh, 5 because you can see I've been playing with it for a while to hone my technique. And now I can bring it into the Glowforge. Real quickly, let's upload that file to the Glowforge. Where is my number 5? There it is. And once it's in, you can see that I now have two layers that I can change to different settings. So I had found that I could cut real well with my 3x300 and my 3x250 uh, when it was cut in the curves. And then when I was done, I had a finished project that was cut out the way I wanted. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, Instant Inkscape. You can take your SVG files and make them work the way it's going to be more successful for your printer. 
Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.